I did a commentary on the Australian team and the Filipino team having a brawl in the basketball. Oh, mate, that was a full-on punch-on. Known as the basket brawl. Yeah. You've watched the footage. Uh, We can bring it up here as well just to do a bit of a recap for those who haven't seen it. Let's play this one on silent, please, Dan. This one's on silent. And, uh, yeah, you can see there's a bit of a push that happens there. Australian player Chris Goulding goes down. Then uh, Daniel Kickett, Australian player, came at a Filipino with an elbow. And then the whole Filipino team just went fucking nuts. And they were like, yeah, they unleashed. They unleashed. They'd had enough. They were fed up with something. There's an attempted fly kick there uh, from one of the Aussie players. Yep. 300-year fly kick is what I call that one. Uh, Yeah, just all kinds of mayhem, Moz. Um, You want to tell the people what you're seeing, what you're interpreting here? Well, it seems to calm down for a bit, doesn't it? And then it just, then you just, it's, you can see it break off again. Somebody's on the ground. Uh, there's just a lot of shit happening. Luke Longley wanders in there. Yeah. Uh, Luke's got his Sasquatch hair these days, but you know, Luke's still standing above. He's seven foot two, so you yeah, know, he's, he's he's somewhat tall. The most Filipino blokes. He just had to run in and give they, them all they, a bit of a push, like a mosh pit. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's the that's the push. Yeah, here we see the elbow come in. You don't get. Yeah, it's sort of sort of obscured, but you're there. It goes chip. You that can is, see he connects. Oh, Oh, and, he, and there is no way that is fully, you know, it's, it's so intentional. There's no, you know. Uh, oh, it's absolutely intentional. Yeah. It was, I mean, there was a foul on Chris Goulding there and he's laying down like, guys, do I get the foul? And, and the and vertical chaos leap. breaks out around him. The vertical leap on number seven for the Filipino team to, to punch that guy in the face. That was uh, badass. Sort of, yeah, no, he, he jumped a good two feet in the air there. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah, they, they were really pissed off, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were jumping extra high to try and land those punches yeah oh there's luke again he doesn't know what's going on no he's like what the fuck (laughs) yeah oh chair throw chair throw wwe mode activated yep and then uh well that's the bloke who threw the elbow daniel kick it it's just fully punching on now he's on the back foot the filipino players are still leaping up trying to get him in the face yep yeah and uh almost almost connected with that last one So that's the full situation there, Was I didn't think that much of it. When I first saw it, people started sending it to me the other night and I was already on the couch. So I'm like, all right, I'll look at it properly tomorrow morning, you wankers. Um, Thank you for sending it to me. But yeah, I was like, I'll look at it tomorrow morning. I'm just like, oh, it's a messy brawl. I don't know. What can I pick apart on this? There's a lot to pick apart. Yeah. It's a fuckload. Well, the, the, I mean, we're love, I'm loving the fact that, you know, I mean, how many players were kicked out of the game immediately? Like seven or nine or some massive amount of players thrown out of the game. And, and, and the, the game was finished. Mm. You know, they went on and played more. Yeah. Yeah, with, with, like, <laughs> with like two blokes on the court playing one-on-one. There is a long video of that because I wasn't watching the game live or anything. I think it was, it was on during the World Cup um, or just before the World Cup had started. And uh, there is a 20, 30 minute video. So you see all the official basketball people looking at the footage and just like going, all right, this person's fucked. This person's fucked. Yep, that person's fucked. Oh, they fucked up. It's, I thought it was quite well handled. They mm. stopped the game. It's good the crowd wasn't too hectic. You know, those sporting situations of the crowd gets Mate. really hectic. Because there's an old, oh, there's an old like- NBA fight with the Pistons or something. And and people are full on throwing throwing shit. Yeah. I hadn't seen basketball get so violent, but the crowd was turning on a player. So it's good that the the crowd could at least yeah, stay I, I feel like settled was, while well, it got sorted out. I feel like those Aussies completely forgot they were playing in a stadium packed full of Philippine people. Right. When they started elbowing Filipino players. I mean, that's a you know a reckless move. That elbow genuinely scared me because a lot of footage we even saw down here was... It was a bit one-sided, the reporting. It mm. was like Filipinos coming in with coward punching, coward punches, stomping on a player who's, who's defending himself, which... Yeah, that was a terrible situation. That yeah. guy's got fucking 12, 15 But the foot, you're right. Have, as the but we didn't really see the elbow that Daniel Kickett had thrown. No, no. one was talking no, about that. No, not in Australia. They were, they were sweeping that under the carpet. And we're not fans of elbows down here. Like that ha- I mean, we talked about an elbow last week in Australian rules football. Yeah. Definitely not fans of elbows on this. On we this take show, a strong... Unless it's in an octagon. Yes, yeah, right. Um, but, yeah. yeah. No, we we take a strong anti-elbow stance on this show. Right. Yeah. So we're not afraid when we spot an elbow to call it out. That's right. And go, that fucking elbow shouldn't be up there. Yeah. I I found it pretty suspenseful. I'm like, shit, well, if he knocked the guy out or it was worse, 
then the crowd situation could yeah. have been worse. Well, they could have turned. I think the Filipino bloke saw it at the last time because it kind of saw it at the last minute. It kind of came from his peripheral vision. He did mm-hmm. the push over and Goulding went down and yeah, it's a foul. Yeah, pushing a bloke off his feet is one thing. It's not really... Chipping him in the face with an elbow. It's, you know... It's not an eye for an eye. It's not properly... No. Nah. The punishment didn't fit the... The crime, yeah. The crime. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've played basketball for him being pushed over. And, you know, it's part of the game. Yeah. You know. And, you know, it's not like the guy wasn't going to get a foul for that. Anyway. No, the Aussies should have played on. Mm. Like, yeah, you've got the foul. Mm. You're 30 points up. Yeah. Don't run in and throw a fucking elbow. And everyone's lucky Luke Longley didn't hulk out. Right. Because he's like seven foot two. I would not want to see Luke Longley hulk out. No. That would be terrible. Because he could have just lost his mind and just attacked everybody. Yeah. You know, the, the Filipino players, the Australian players, the officials. Filipinos would have an answer for that, though. Would they? Yep. What, what would the answer be? Manny. Manny? Manny Pacquiao. Oh, Manny, yeah. The boxer. Was he there? The boxer. Might take a while to mobilize. They might have had him on standby. We don't know. We don't know. They could have been like, just for extra protection. Yeah. In case this event gets out of hand, we've Actually, got Manny, Manny, Manny we've got... versus Luke Longley would be a good match. Oh, gee whiz. Yeah. This is a follow-up fight now. It is. Yeah, to me, you know, in a, in a good way to bring the Filipinos and the Australians Back together, together again. again in yeah. a controlled professional environment. Yeah. Luke Longley well, Luke versus... Luke Longley's not trained, but he's huge. Yeah. He's not trained as a fighter, I mean. No. Yeah. And, but Manny's obviously highly trained, highly expert world champion, but yeah. considerably smaller than Luke Longley. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good match. Yeah, that'd be a good showdown. I'm yeah. positive he is Filipino. I think I've got my facts I, correct there. I feel like you're right. I feel like I'm right. Yeah. And I feel like we wouldn't want to fuck with that. No, we, we'll Manny be the biggest pair on. of white don't, racist dumb fucks if we got that wrong. But yeah. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, good. Because sure. we're live. Yeah. Anything can happen. <laughs> Anything can happen. We can't yeah. renege. No. no Once no. the words go out... Yeah, it's been said. You can't it's grab the, them. It's on the internet. Yeah. yeah. If I have made a mistake, then yeah, my bad. No. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad the Filipino bloke was not knocked out or anything like that. So no. I'm glad he saw the elbow coming at the last second. And I don't think anyone was seriously injured, which is quite amazing. I don't think so. And that's why it ends up being pretty funny. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you've got these tall blokes. I mean, basketball players are, are lanky. Mm. Yeah, they're lanky as fuck. Yeah. And they're trying to, like, yeah, throw those long limbs around. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, let's, it ends up you know, cool. And let's name the reality. There is, a, the, on average, a height discrepancy between the Austra- Australian players and the Filipino players. Oh, see, look, credit to the Filipinos for, like, doing those huge jumps. Oh. They look like bloody... Yeah. Spartans in the movie 300 or some oh, shit full, like just full ah! bloody just full of Sergei Bubka just yeah. up there yeah. yeah they were jumping higher probably than they were yeah. in the game like I don't know if any of the Filipinos were going for back jams or 360 jams or you know just yeah boom shaka laka kind of well, stuff well I assume they could if they were angry enough yeah exactly yeah. that's what I mean like they were fired up yeah. I think they were jumping extra high mm. in the fight yeah which was incredible like <laughs> Yeah, no, it's full Woody our game shit. They're big, you know, the aerial like that. Yeah, fair, good stuff. Yeah, they unleashed, they mm. unleashed, but not a situation where anyone really comes out of it looking good. No one looks on cool. a sportsmanship on level. No one really looks cool. No, they all look a bit silly at the end of the day. And then the Filipino players are taking selfies out there. Yeah, like, yeah, just got in a fucking fight. It's like, all right. Yeah, yeah, calm it down, guys. Yeah. There is a whole backstory too. People were telling me Australians ripping off uh, sponsor stickers on the court, or like, you know, like the anger had been bubbling even before the push foul mm. and the elbow. There's a backstory of anger bubbling. It wasn't a happy while. game. It wasn't a friendly. Match. I don't think it was a happy game. <laughs> yeah, from the outset. Yeah, that 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 didn't look like a happy game incident. If someone gets pushed over in a happy game, you know, you shake hands and ha ha ha, and they're not happy. Yeah. yeah, there was some, and you know, unpleasantness was brewing. Probably unpleasantness was brewing. Yeah, and then there is a lot of hearsay out there. We don't know what's true exactly. Australian coaches going, we could hear them telling their players to hit us, and uh, Filipino coaches going, well, that fuckhead did the elbow, and that really set us off. Yeah. Plus, he was he was giving them people shit in the warm ups too. Apparently, is what the other Filipinos are saying. And then yeah, disrespecting the court or something with the after sponsors. a shit fight that massive. And that ridiculous. Mm. Uh, playing the blame game is a little bit silly. Right. Yeah. It's easy to go down that path. Though, it is. Because you're trying to be all detective about it. Even with that footage, I'm like, let's have a look at what we've got here. Let's just have a look at what we got. Let's have a look at the evidence and go over how this could have started. Uh, and yeah, but you, you get nowhere really. 
the whole backstory comes in. And I think there's fake tweets. I'm pretty sure they're fake. It's nasty. Like, yeah. of, of Chris Goulding's Twitter account where he's saying things like Filipino monkeys, trash country. Well, I'm pretty I... sure it's fake. I've okay. had people send it to me after the commentary and all it does is add fuel to the fire. Yeah. You've got to be careful of that misinformation on the internet because you know? that's, that's not nice. No. And as a player, you wouldn't want to see Your name fake to that. tweets that are yeah. being sent out. So. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, let it go, people. Let it go. I reckon. Yeah, it's a bit funny it's seeing a bit funny. basketballers trying to have a full-on fight. Did draw my? I had no idea that the qualifying for the World Basketball Cup had even started. Right. For a start, I had no idea that the Australian Boomers were playing the Philippines, Filipinos in the Philippines. I had no idea. So it's got some publicity. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. People are like, whoa, the basketball event is on as well. Yeah. Besides the Soccer World Cup. Mm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That drummed up a bit of publicity. Right. Any publicity is good publicity. I now know about Luke's hair. Right. I, I didn't know Luke was growing his hair out. Hadn't touched base with Luke Longley for a long time in nah. terms of my Longley information. Mm. Yeah. Pretty sure I still got a basketball card yeah. from the 90s. Yeah. No, I see uh, him occasionally uh, around Frio, very rarely, but not for a couple of years. I didn't know he was growing his hair out, Aussie man style. Yeah, oh, yeah, full rock Mate. star as well, yeah. Yeah, you probably set the trend. Maybe. Yeah. I'm a bit of a trendsetter. No doubt. Yeah. An influencer. Yeah, I'm an influencer. Yeah. Maybe I've influenced Luke Longley's hair. That makes sense. That, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, uh, look, all good, Filipinos, Australians, hashtag still friends is how I'm going about it. Absolutely. I want to remain friends. Yep. I like the Filipino fans on the Aussie Man channels. Definitely. I reckon they like me. Mm-hmm. So let's not let this get between us. No. No, it's just a funny story. We'll laugh about this one day. Mm-hmm.